The National Centre for Truth and Reconciliation wants you to imagine a Canada. Through the work of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, Canadians reflected on the historical treatment of Indigenous peoples in this country. People are realizing that the engagement of youth is crucial. For me as a survivor, I'm, I'm really impressed with, with how much they knew. I was very impressed with the type of questions the audience asked. It tells me as somebody that's carried this pain I have for over 68 years, that there's hope, there's hope. Finally, there's hope on the horizon and it's coming from the right place, it's coming from the youth. Canadian students from grade three to university undergraduates are invited to take part in Imagine a Canada, a national art and essay competition that asks young Canadians to share their thoughts on the future of Canada through the lens of reconciliation. I will be there as well on March 1st to see the top 10 who will travel to Rideau Hall to show their art or their essay or their spoken word or their song, whatever is created. The top 10 will travel to Rideau Hall in Ottawa and spend time with the Governor General and show what their vision of Canada is when it comes to reconciliation, when it comes to uniting and learning and sharing and growing with each other. You can participate on your own or with your class. Submit your work of art, poetry, film, video or essay by visiting nctr.ca. But hurry, the deadline for submissions is January 10th, 2016. Ten selected contestants will receive a trip to Rideau Hall and attend a special ceremony with His Excellency the Right Honourable David Johnston, Governor General of Canada, on March 1st, 2016. Show us what Canada means when it comes together. What it means in your minds, in your eyes, because we get to learn from all of you.